Anda koro, sin koro basi, sin koro basi, sin koro basi, sin koro basi, sin koro basi. Talo kato, talo kato, itaro, mitaro, itaro, mitaro, 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 suko loka taya. Siko loko taya, maula katua na sanga yana. Uyawe akasore anu ka ukalea masume. Niona kalo no koto toro ambasi antatara. Ubebebe, ubebebe, kaswa kasango loba alamba shira. Lord, we well, thank you. Help us to surrender to your leadership, to your lordship. Spirit, soul, and body. Help us to live and move and have our being in you. In Jesus' name we are praying. Beloved, I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Still under the umbrella of Premier School of the Prophet, we are still looking at our daily adultures, dreams of visions. Dreams of visions. The entrepreneurial application. We are still looking at a series, prophetic numbers. Numbers are highly significant in scripture. That is why there is the book of Numbers among the 66 canon of scriptures. You know, we have the book of Genesis, we have Exodus, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, then Numbers. For the throne, the first book. Numbers are highly significant before God. God speaks oftentimes through numbers. I remember in a revelation, the Lord showed me and told me that this is my number. It's a prophetic number attached to everything the Lord does. That's why during the creation, you see, the first day God created, you see, this, the second day created that, the third day created, you see, each day is attached to creation. And he created man the sixth day, and he rested on the seventh day. So all these numbers are not, they are not just mere saying or gain saying, they are, they are prophetic implication, they are prophetic benefit, they are prophetic, you see, highlights before God, in the schemes of the spirit. Yania, the things of the spirit. For instance, we are looking at one, two, three. One is a number of wholeness. Before Jesus left in John 17, I think 11 and 22, he said, Make them one as we are one. The place of oneness can never be emphasized, whatever God is doing. God wants us to be one in His body, He wants us to be in one accord. That's why I want husband and wife to be one. The man shall leave his father and mother and just go and the two shall become one. Oneness is, is very, you see, the Bible says they were in one place and they were in one accord. Then the Holy Spirit came. Two that, two, two that are one are better than millions that are not one. Are better than ten that are not one. So one is a number of owners. Two is a number of confirmation and three is a number of confirmation. And they also number of witness. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am. In 1 John, the Bible says that, best. It said, it, said, it said three bear record in heaven and three bear witness on earth. So three is a number of record, it's a number of witness. Take note. But these numbers are not just frivolous or frivolities. They are not just vanity. They have prophetic implication. They have prophetic meaning. They have prophetic importance. I pray that like never before, when the Lord speaks to you through numbers, whether in a dream or in a vision, He will grant you illumination. He will say that. He will quicken your understanding to comprehend or to catch what is trying to, the, the message is trying to pass across to you. In the name of Jesus. You will never take number with levity from now henceforth. So be it. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen.